What are your thoughts on the situation? Are you talking about the Gypsy Rose Blanchard one? There's actually... I, I don't remember who made a video on it. It might have been Windigoon. I think it was Windigoon that covered this. It's a really fascinating case. There's also two documentaries on it as well. She has a special coming out after her release. Sometime in January, I think. It's a really, really interesting thing because her mom appears to be v evil. Like, to do that to your child, put them through all those unnecessary surgeries and everything, like, that is downright deplorable stuff. Did you know that Gypsy Rose gets out of prison tomorrow? Just saw that. Yeah. Gypsy Rose um, Blanchard, I believe is her last name. Yeah, Blanchard. Such a crazy story. But she gets released tomorrow, yeah. Or is it tomorrow or three days? I can't remember now. But she gets released very soon. Thanks for the membership, Adriana. And the Prime Casual and Bat. Who is that? This is a very interesting case. So, I believe the term is Munchausen by proxy. And basically, her mom convinced doctors and even her child herself that she had pretty much every disease known to man and forced her to get unnecessary surgery, unnecessary treatment. She had her in a wheelchair, even though she was completely capable of walking, shaved her head because she had told everyone that her daughter had leukemia, even though she didn't. Basically, for most of Gypsy Rose Blanchard's life, her mother treated her as if she was perpetually ill with the worst diseases imaginable and took her to all the specialists and got her all of this unnecessary treatment forever. Eventually, Gypsy Rose meets someone online, and her mom had very strict supervision over pretty much every aspect of her life, if I recall correctly, but Gypsy Rose like was able to go behind her back and meet someone online. His name was Nicholas... Uh, Nicholas... Goad John, I think? I I'm not sure, but basically, she met him... She fell in love with him, they had a relationship behind her mother's back, and eventually Gypsy Rose came up with a plan to have her mother killed by Nicholas. And the they went through with the plan, Nicholas killed Gypsy Rose's mother, while Gypsy Rose hid in the bathroom and covered her ears because she didn't want to hear it, and eventually they both got caught. She was charged with second degree murder and spent the last six years in jail, six Six or seven years in jail. And now she's being released. Thanks to the membership, Marisol. And the membership, James. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that, Derek. Hey, shout-outs to Zeke. That's awful. I'm wishing you the best. And I'm excited for the Elden Ring DLC, yeah. And not yet, Brady. It was eight years? Was it eight years? I remember it happened in 2015, but I didn't... I don't, I, I didn't think she got sentenced till a couple years later. Maybe it was eight. Oh, wait, it even says right here. 2016. So seven. Thanks, Arisa Bunnies. And no, I do not... I don't know who that is, Spoder. I'm wishing you the absolute best, Pete. Stay strong. Thanks, Arisa Bonre. And I'm not sure, Paradoxid. There should be a thing somewhere there for it. That would be pretty crazy, Dolrich. The guy who's fathered over 500 kids with a sperm extractor would be unstoppable. Thanks to the membership, Lalo. What are your thoughts on the situation? Are you talking about the Gypsy Rose Blanchard one? There's actually... I, I don't remember who made a video on it. It might have been Windigoon. I think it was Windigoon that covered this. It's a really fascinating case. There's also two documentaries on it as well. She has a special coming out after her release... Sometime in January, I think. It's a really, really interesting thing because her mom appears to be v evil. Like, to do that to your child, put them through all those unnecessary surgeries and everything, like, that is downright deplorable stuff. So it's not surprising that Gypsy Rose would want any way out that she could think of. And then Nicholas got, like... Nicholas, I believe, had a men well has a mental disorder as well, and during his time with the police, they like they manipulated him to get the confession they wanted out of him without his attorney ever being there. So I think he's serving a life sentence for it too, for his role in all of it. 
So the whole thing has so many like different crazy pieces to it. It's wild. There's the resub trooper. There's the membership pogos. And no, I didn't hear. Did that happen today? Videotapes? Because I did not hear about it. Thanks to the resub Uzi. Thanks to the resub freshness. Thanks, Lizard. That's the lore behind your non use of ad block. Because so many of these news websites, when you click on them, they tell you to turn your ad block off or else they won't show you anything. And I really don't feel like <laughs> having to go around it. So I just play ball with it now. So do you think Nicholas shouldn't have gotten a life sentence? I don't think so. Uh, I, I really don't. Uh, or at the very least, he should have been able to have his attorney there to give him a fair chance. He, he has a mental disability, and they manipulated him to get exactly the confession they needed for a life sentence. Is that true, Insomniac? I didn't know that about Eminem. Thanks to the membership, Ion. I'm not sure I am, but that is a lot. How recent is this? Happened in 2015. She's getting out uh, very soon, though. Either tomorrow or three days, I can't remember. But she's she's out soon. There's the membership gothic. And the resub demon. And thanks, Ethan. And Timothy. Why did her mom do it, though? Munchausen, or however you say it, by proxy, is a mental disorder as well. So her mother really wanted to care for her daughter, at, like, in the biggest way possible. So she started making up diseases so she could better care for her and do more. It's about attention, I thought. Not from what I recall. Granted, it's been a while since I've dove into this case, but if I remember correctly, the Munchausen by proxy syndrome is mainly about wanting to be, like, the most nurturing, like, mother ever. Like, fighting away all the bad stuff. Let's see. But maybe it is about attention. I'm not sure. Like I said, it has been a while. Let's take a peek. It's a psychological disorder marked by attention-seeking behavior by a caregiver through those who are in their care. Yeah, you're right. It is about attention. It's a relatively rare behavioral disorder. It affects a primary caretaker, often the mother. The person with MSP gains attention by seeking medical help for exaggerated or made-up symptoms of a child in their care. As healthcare providers strive to identify what's causing the child's symptoms, the deliberate actions of the parent or caretaker can often make the symptoms worse. Yep, you're right. It is attention. I'm confused. The doctors just agreed to perform surgeries. It was a lot deeper than that. It's not like she just went in there and said those things. She went very far into this ruse. She, she did a lot. And she actually made her daughter so ill that she really was in a very, very poor state. So it wouldn't be far-fetched to just believe the mother when it come to what she was saying. Thanks, Resub Desi and Pooby. 